Hey, today I am talking about Thursday sneakers. I've got these two pairs here, the Wax Cacao and Vachetta High Tops. Both are a couple years old now, so I've uh, you know put them through their paces, worn them a ton, and uh, figured I'd share my experience with the pairs that I've got. The base support is a dense rubber outsole. It's lasted quite well, and it's only just starting to show some minor signs of wearing down at this point. It's supportive, but it's still comfortable underfoot. They have a natural Vachetta leather insole with a removable cushion footbed. I've had no issues with mine. They're still holding up well. If I had to rate the comfort, I would say, you know, they're, they're more comfortable than a classic Chuck Taylor. Uh, maybe not quite as comfortable as the newer Chuck 70s that are uh, really nice and cushioned. In my experience, I'd say they're equal in comfort to, you know, the Adidas Originals line like the Sambas or the Gazelles. I just have these two pairs of the Thursday sneakers, but the quality control has been quite good. On the Vachettas, there was a stray thread that I just singed with a lighter and that was it. Other than that, uh, no quality control issues are holding up well. Everything's nice and tidy and well done. In terms of sizing, they recommend to go with your usual sneaker size. This can be kind of challenging because sneaker sizing is all over the place. Uh, but I think it's good advice. Um, I would say go with the largest sneaker size that you wear. Um, you know, my experience, I'm a 9 E Brannock. Sometimes in sneakers, I'm a 9.5, which is what I ordered for these and it worked out perfectly. For reference, I am a nine in uh, the Chuck 70, uh, a nine in some Nike uh, basketball shoes and running shoes, but I'm a 9.5 in New Balance. I'm a 9.5 in Adidas Originals, uh, and I went with a 9.5 in these. If we're talking boots, uh, Thursday boots specifically, I'm a size nine. So I went up a half size from my typical Thursday boot size. And like I said, this worked out perfectly for me. These are currently 142 bucks. So they're on the higher side of casual sneakers if you're comparing to things like Chucks or Adidas Originals. But if you're comparing to others that would fit in this category of sneaker, like you know Common Projects, Koyo, Greats, they'd actually be on the lower side of the price scale. Uh, and if you pick an option like the Wax Cacao, uh, you're getting a Horween leather option, which is just incredibly nice and high quality. And the Vachetta that I have here, you know, I wish I could describe um, just how soft and, and nice the hand of this leather is. Even if you don't go with the waxed cacao, you're still going to get really nice full grain uppers uh, that are going to be highly durable. The leather lining is soft and comfortable as well. If you're into boots, you're going to love how the leather on these sneakers ages and patinas and just wears over time. Uh, but if you want your sneakers to look pristine, um, you know, you're gonna wanna go with an option that more like the, the classic white, cause the Vachetta leather being a veg tan leather, it's gonna stain, it's gonna show its wear, uh, which is something I really appreciate. You know, you can see by these pictures, I've worn these pretty hard. I'm looking at the Vachettas and thinking I should probably uh, maybe do a clean on these. And I'll actually, maybe I'll do a video of before and after, I'll clean these things up. Um, condition them and see how they look before and after. It is always important to keep in mind that when you're wearing leather boots, leather shoes, any, well, leather products in general, if you're wearing and using leather products, they are gonna age, they are gonna crease. Uh, but those are the Thursday sneakers, just a really great option, especially if you're a boot lover and you want a nice leather sneaker for the summer, these are gonna be a great choice, really comfortable, nice and durable good price on them too. All right. Thanks a lot.